Freight and haulage firms are warning of a looming crisis in UK border plans when the Brexit transition period ends on the 31st of December. The Road Haulage Association says the supply chain of goods could become a, quote, disaster area with rocket boosters on. Well, the various firms want to meet ministers to discuss their concerns about IT systems, border infrastructure and the training of customs agents. We can speak now to Alex Veach, who's general manager for public policy at Logistics UK. That's one of the companies that's written that letter and issued that warning. And uh, he's in St Albans. Uh, thanks so much for being with us, Alex. Well, what, you. what is your prediction? What are you what are you worried about? We're worried about delays. We're worried about goods not getting where people need them to go. Uh, as quickly and easily as they do today. And, and why? Just explain uh, what, what do you think is going to happen at the end of the transition period at the end of this year? So at the end of this year, uh, we're going to be in a position where all of our goods exported from uh, this country to the EU will be subject to full uh, trade procedures, which currently apply if we're trading with goods outside the EU. And so our main worry is about securing a, a fast, efficient way to move those goods from the UK to the EU from the 1st of January. And this is why uh, we're engaging with government and encouraging them to accelerate the process for getting all these um, IT systems ready so that our members and the businesses that use our members to move their goods around can all have time to get up to speed and know how to use them so that goods can flow across the borders easily from the 1st of January. So it really is... It in the end, it's a kind of logistical issue, is it? And you're saying, when it comes down to it, we're just not ready. Well, we've still got four months to go, so uh, let's, let's, let's focus on the positives. Uh, we've had good engagement with government. Um, many of the back office systems are now um, developed, and we're working closely with our members and with government to make sure that folks know how to use them. Uh, we've drawn attention to one particular project called Smart Freight, which is all about the management of the flow of goods through Kent, which is really important. And we'd like to see government accelerate the process uh, for that. Um, you know, there is still time. We just need to uh, perhaps focus, prioritise and increase the, the amount of, uh, of government, top level government attention to things like smart freight to make sure that there is sufficient time so that it all works well uh, come the 1st of January. As I mentioned, um, one of your group, the Road Haulage Association, have said, you know, this could be a disaster with with rocket boosters on. It's quite a prediction. Well, we'd like the rocket boosters to be uh, applied in a different context, perhaps to, to fast forward the freight across the borders um, uh, carefully and, and, and safely. No, but, I, I think we, we're not in the same, uh, we're not seeing this in quite, with quite the same lens as they are. Uh, we want to win this race in first place. You know, we want to re remove delays. We want to make sure everything works as perfectly on day one. That's where we need to be. Um, but, but if Everybody it doesn't work out like delayed. that, I mean, I've heard I've heard various uh, people talk about the possibility of shortages of, of, of shortages of food. I mean, is, is, is that possible? Well, look, um, we've seen in COVID that uh, our members, the logistics supply chain has been incredibly resilient and able to deliver goods that you, me and everybody else needs um, on a daily basis. Now, the, the challenge of Brexit is significant. Um, but just going back to what I said before, that the biggest issue is actually about exports from January, because the government has said that for a six month period during 2021, the, that first six months, there will be what they call a staged approach to import control. So we don't anticipate as many problems on the import side. But what we're worried about is um, uh, is the exports to the EU because our friends in the EU have said, no, no, no staged approach for you. You have to comply with all of our rules from, from January. It's, it's possible to do it. Uh, we just need to make sure that everyone's working together to achieve that goal. And where the two things meet in the middle is because we have um, such a, a congested supply chain across the channel in parts, if you get delays on export, it can create a problem for the import flows as well. Just, for, just very quickly, so I mean, the government yeah. is saying, you know, this is not a problem. Um, they're saying the government's investing £700 million in jobs, infrastructure and technology at the border. Well, uh, it, uh, you know, there are still uh, a few problems to resolve, uh, we would respectfully say in response to that. Uh, there's no doubt the government's invested a lot. Um, engagement is good. 
Um, we the building blocks, the, the the bricks of the house are almost in place, but we are drawing attention to smart freight, which is the way that the government is looking to manage the flow of traffic through Kent and ensure and incentivise uh, logistics providers to make sure that goods are border ready before they even get to Kent. It's a project we support, but this is the one area which is really lagging behind and we'd like to uh, get some additional um, top level ministerial focus on that so that all parts of the house can be built uh, by the end of the year. All right, we'll see what happens. Alex Beach, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.